Indo-Chinese food is very close to my heart. When I was in India, we really used to enjoy those food truck Chinese food. So I thought sharing this quick, easy, lip smacking wet chow mein recipe with you. Let's start making it. In a pot, put water to boil and add salt. Once water comes to a boil, add dried chow mein. Once water comes to a boil again, turn down the heat to medium and let it cook for about two to three minutes. Doneness of chow mein depends on the thickness of it. So if it is thin, it will cook fast. Thick one needs more time. To test doneness, take a strand and break it. If it snaps out easily, it means it's not done. If it is breaking with a bit of a stretch and stickiness, it means it's ready. If it is too sticky while breaking, it means it's overcooked, which one should avoid. Once it's cooked, strain it and immediately wash it with cold water to stop carryover cooking. Then apply oil all over so it won't stick together. Cover it and keep it aside. Till the time chow mein is resting, let's prepare other ingredients. In this recipe, I have used egg, but if you don't like, simply omit it. In a bowl, add eggs, salt and chili flakes. Beat it, then heat up a pan and add oil. Once oil is hot, add eggs and make moist scrambled out of it. Take it out on a plate and keep it aside. Now heat up a wok or karhai on high heat. Make sure you have all ingredients ready and in front of you before cooking. As you must aware, it's fairly quick. Once pan is hot, add oil from top to cover all the sides. Then add chopped garlic, ginger and green chili into it. Followed by sliced red onions, green onions bottom part and give it a stir. Then add sliced red pepper, green pepper and mushrooms. If you have cabbage, do use it. I am just out of it, so I am not using it. Saute it only about 10 seconds or so. And then add chow mein into it. Don't overcook veggies. Texture is very important. Then add chili paste and chili sauce. Black pepper powder, garam masala, dark soy sauce and vinegar. Now quickly mix everything together. Taste it and adjust seasoning. Now simply fold in the scrambled eggs. Plate it and garnish with green onions and toasted sesame seeds. That's it, done. I hope you like this video. We'll see you soon in next video. Till then, Happy summer eating. Bye-bye. Take care.